Paul here. I'm just going to show you how to optimize your workspace and how to export in Stop Motion Pro Eclipse. What I've got here is some animation I've been filming and if you just used the software as it was you'd, you'd have a screen that looked like this, quite cluttered and um, I generally don't like working like that. I like to have it fairly clean while I'm animating so I use these little tabbed corners here on the sidebar to get those out of the way and also the thumbnail view I remove that and stretch the animation out and I'm, I'm filming with a DSLR which means um, it's showing a it captures a, a different aspect ratio to 16.9 it captures a 3.2 aspect ratio so there's a little option here which masks the animation to a 16.9 uh, uh, aspect and that gives you a much better idea of what your film's actually going to look like. There's other functions here which you may be aware of, of being able to set up a the rule of thirds, have that displayed, or a centre mark on there. That's how I have my workspace set up, and you can see it really puts the animation centre stage. Okay, so once we've got our animation filmed, we want to export it. And you do that here under File, Export Animation. And you first of all, you can choose if you're going to export all your frames as an animation, or a frame range. So you might just want to export, as I will here, I'll just export frames uh, one one to a hundred. We have two tabs here. One is letting you export a movie and the other is exporting as individual frames. And that means uh, as still images, a series of still images that are numbered nice and sequentially. And if you choose this option, the image option, uh, the images are exported at full size. Now back to the movie export mode. And if I'm filming with a webcam, it's just captured as the source images that you're using. But as I've shot this with a DSLR, I've got an option of shooting, uh, sorry, of exporting the live view images or the captured images. And because I'm going to edit this footage, I'm going to choose captured. Uh, now, the next question is the format and codec used. And we've grouped these just to make it fairly easy. If you're going to edit your animation, I'd recommend something like the ProRes uh, MOV file format. If you want to just uh, email something around to people, a short sequence like this one, uh, you might try this one, Internet WMB Medium Quality. And then from the drop down you choose a pixel dimension. And if you look at the picture there on the right, as I change this, so that's a 4.3 format, it's automatically cropping the images to fit uh, optimally and that's the 16-9 uh, uh, format so that's uh, 640 by 360 but if we go right up to 1920 by 1080 you'll see it doesn't change but obviously it's a much bigger file. In this case we'll, we'll make it fairly small because we're just doing a uh, internet WMB quality so I'll click OK and it's going to export those frames. I'll give it a name, I'll just replace this one I did earlier and the animation is exporting, we'll come back in a moment. Alright, that's exported, so I'm going to just for comparison export it again with a higher quality, so I'll do it in the uh, ProRes uh, 422 and we'll set it at uh, 1920 by 1080, so that's a um, HD aspect ratio. You'll find it takes a fair while to export some of these files and you need to remember there very large image files captured off the DSLR and you might be running them at 24 or 30 frames a second. Alright, I'll just shrink that and let's have a look at those two clips for comparison. Now we've got that um, internet WMV version which you can see is quite, um, quite low quality. It's playing back fine. 2.7 meg, so not particularly large which is um, handy and now we'll try the ProRes version. You can see straight away it's a lot higher quality and uh, that's playing back nicely too. That file, if I check on the properties of that, that's 130 meg. So you can see it's quite a bit larger than the little internet quality one we made earlier. Great, thanks for watching. That's some ideas on exporting your animation with Stop Motion Pro Clips.